Everyone wants to be a part of something bigger. But not everyone will. Everyone has goals. But not everyone knows where to start. We are not everyone. Are not everyone. Are not everyone. Are not everyone. Worlds apart, minutes away, where dinner begins with your family gathering, where connecting with nature leads to connecting with each other, where hundreds of acres of meadows and forests nurture your mind, your body, and your spirit. Riverstead, discover resilient living. You know, today's world is about the experience and the relationships that you create. We want to be your family jeweler. We want to know your special occasions. I mean, we want to be a part of that. Well, think about what love is. I mean, it is, a, it is all things tingly, all the feelings that are part of love. And to be part of experiencing the opportunity for somebody to celebrate that. When somebody leaves this place with a smile on their face, that's my goal. That's what I want to see. All right, all right. Well, welcome. We are so glad that you are here with us. We are proud of South Carolina. I'm a proud South Carolinian. Uh, it's, we got a wonderful show for you guys tonight. It's fantastic. We've got South Carolina talent helping us here uh, in this show, helping us produce this show. And uh, as I said before, we're proud South Carolinians, proud to be uh, from America and this audience we're welcoming in around the world tonight. It's, it's fantastic. Tonight we're gonna start off this show with a young lady from Easley, South Carolina, who became uh, famous last year in her uh, America's Got Talent debut breakout performance. Please put your hands together and welcome Miss Ansley Burns. Thank you for being here. You will stand for our national anthem. <laughs> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave <laughs> Great job, Ansley. Wow. I know it. That was fantastic. So, so again, welcome in. Um, 
you know, purpose. We all have one. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, Creator, Lord, thank you for everyone here tonight. Thank you for everyone watching on the live stream now and in the future. I lift us all up to you. Help us, Lord, to lead together, to find our purpose, to educate, empower, and encourage. Do this for us, Father, and help this do for, for others. I lift up our communities here in South Carolina, across America, and around the world. Bring us together in peace. Heal our people and our land. Help our leaders and help us be leaders. Give us a wonderful awards show and ceremony and a beautiful future together. And with respect to other religions, non-religions, lovers and haters, I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We've got a great show for everyone tonight. Again, I want to thank you for being here with us in the audience and those uh, on the live stream. And uh, two of my favorite people, people that have been bridge builders, they've been supporters of this cause for a long time. Certainly no uh, strangers to any of us in this room or out here. Please put your hands together and welcome Megan Heidelberg and Will Merritt. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, he's making us follow the prayer and Ansley. Will, what you got up your sleeve? Well, I, I, I just thought I was going to pass an offering plate after hearing her say it. We were. I, I, did. I mean, that was unbelievable. She's taking us to church on a Thursday night. I like it. I like it, right? Well, we are having a great time. Will, how long have we been doing programs like this together? Well, I mean, ever since you were playing basketball at South Carolina and mm -hmm. I was playing football at Clemson, which doesn't make any sense for us to be up here together. Yeah, right? See, Gamecocks and Tigers, we can make it come together. We, I we, like we, it. We can, I mean, you know, it's all about unity. And that, that's the one thing that I, I wanted to say is that this program is all about unity. Mm -hmm. It's all about bringing everybody together, and which is, um, and I just got to say, that it's the vision of David Wyatt. Yes. And, um, and I, I know he <laughs> doesn't he don't want to be praised, but let, yeah. I think we can all put our hands together for David Wyatt. Yes. Yes. Because without him, this doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It's a lot of work that goes on behind the fields. Of course, we love actually seeing the game being played. Fingers still crossed, so we're going to get to see it being played this year. But there's so much more that goes into it, and he gets that, and that's what this is all about. Well, and, and if you want to talk about the game being played, um, there's one place that George Rogers never in, entered. Mm -hmm. and that's the end zone. Anymore. George, you want me to hold him back now, or you want me to let you have him? <laughs> Come up and, <laughs> Come up and get him. See, that's... Because I, 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 I love that man. I love it. That's why this night is so big, because we've got some big players in the house. We've got a lot of big players that are at home watching us right now. we got a Heisman winner that you yeah. are going to hear from coming up soon. Yeah, but I think before we do any of that, I think we need to pay respect to a couple of people. Okay. Um, Sam Weich mm. was just mm. absolutely instrumental in this being a what it is right now and we lost him this year we inducted him i remember when we inducted him and it just doesn't seem right having anything involved with south carolina football hall of fame and not seeing his smiling face here telling some funny stories that he you know, know. would only tell in these type of events you'd get him to open up more and you would learn so much and and i think the one thing about sam is that what we have to address is the fact that he gave as much as he received. Absolutely. And he was just a, a tremendous individual. And uh, the second person I think that we need to talk about is Willie Jeffries. Mm -hmm. He's not with us tonight. And, uh, and I understand why, you know, because he's. He's with us on video, guys. Don't be freaking out at home. You're like, no, what no, happened no, to Coach I mean, Jeffries? No, no, he's here. No, he's no, alive. He, he, he's alive. Yeah, he, he yeah. definitely is. Uh -huh. But um, I, I would, I would rem be remiss if I didn't tell you that 
it was so much fun hearing the stories that he had. I mean, because he has just a way about mm -hmm. the, he tells stories. Um, and I, I said many times, he's the black Jerry Clower. <laughs> that, that's what I think he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because he just tells stories in a unique way. Yeah. And uh, so um, I hate that both of them can't be here tonight. Well, don't worry. We're going to hear from Coach Jeffrey soon. He well, put together. Yeah, he know, put he put together video, some but, video for us. But, and uh, yeah. Anyways, it's just, just not the same. But David, you made Dal Sheely proud because he's normally the one that gives the what. So you did a great job with that. And tonight, you know, it's all about honoring the bridge builders. We're going to meet ten amazing high school students rising up to play at that next level. They're doing so much on and off the field. We're going to award the Collegiate Player of the Year, and there was a lot of good talent. I know a lot of people were like, uh, this was a, a giveaway, but there's a lot of good talent. And, and just so you know, I was never a candidate for that. Really? Never. I was never a candidate for the well, Collegiate well, Player of the Year. Well, we all know our roles. I, 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 I don't have a Heisman <laughs> in my house. That's, just so that's okay. You, we got other things we can we, we can. Be doing. We can we can introduce Heisman That's winners, right? right? That's, That's good. Right. Well, speaking of introducing, we want to introduce someone who is amazing. He's had an amazing football career. Well, I, I'm just going to tell you when when I was growing up um, watching Clemson football, mm -hmm. there was one person that just epitomized every single thing that matters in, in the game, and I just remember him doing this right here after sacking people. And um, LaVon Kirkland is, to me, is the epitome of Clemson football. And um, it's, not, it's not the fact that he was an unbelievable linebacker, because he was, but um, <laughs> go ahead, George. George Rogers go is ahead. shaking his going, go yep, ahead, yep, yep. <laughs> and it's not that he just hit people right in the mouth. It's the fact that he just exuded everything that is about Clemson football. And um, I remember when I showed up at Clemson when I was a freshman and um, I was in the locker room and there was a picture of Levine on the, on the side of the wall. And I thought, I cannot believe that I'm playing at the same university that Levine Kirkland played at. <laughs> And um, he just, he's everything that is right about football. And what's amazing about Levon is that he didn't just, he didn't just stop playing football and just go by the wayside. He's giving back. He's doing everything right. And um, I, don't, I don't know how to say how much I love that man for him influencing my career. But ladies and gentlemen, Mr. LeVon Kirkland. <laughs> The monster in the middle. The monster in the middle. When was the last time you've heard that? Uh, it's been about maybe 10 or 15 years, <laughs> 10 or 15 years since I heard about that. Thank you guys so much for that warm introduction. And Will, don't worry, I got your money. Um, I, thank you so much for for doing that. And as the VP of development for the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame, I'm really proud of this moment. This is our first uh, Bridge Builders Excellent Award ceremony. I think it's going to be something that's going to be huge. And I really would like to thank David Wyatt and Mike Foster for having the same vision that I had when we met together. Uh, we talked about, you know, being the face of South Carolina football, about giving back, about being that network of support that all of us really need. And I usually tell people that I was a very successful football player, but I wish that I had the Bridge Builder Award when I was young. I, I think we all do because it, it, being supported and being – someone's mentor and being able to guide a young man is amazing. And I just remember my mother and father and how much they give. And I knew that my gifts, my knowledge, my experience wasn't just for me and my family. 
is supposed to be for everyone. We have a purpose here on this earth, and that purpose is to give back what we have. The South Carolina Football Hall of Fame and our Bridge Builder um, program is that. We're going to give back. We're going to educate. We're going to empower. And we're going to encourage our young people from South Carolina so they can do great work. My mother used to say this all the time. As an adult, you have to, be, you have to take care of your young people. Because when you get old, they're going to take care of you. So, with that in mind, we have to make sure that we take care of our future, of our young people, because they're going to take care of us. They're going to take care of us. I want you guys to join the, mo the movement. I want you to guys know that the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame is more than football is making a difference through football. I'm really blessed to be here. Thank you so much. And the next, I think that we have one of the greatest coaches of all time, Willie Jeffers, is going to give a message. He believes in what we're doing at the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame. I, I hope you will, as you see us, continue to believe in our mission. Our Bridge Builders program educates and empowers our youth for success in their college, careers, and their life endeavors. I want you all to congratulate as well as I will tonight. We want to congratulate our 10 winners and encourage the young men in the audience and all of the young men that are tuned in that we are leading together and honored to have your presence and support tonight. I want to say one thing uh, in, in my 42 years of coaching, uh, starting out at, at the high school level in Lancaster and Gaffney, and then on to the college uh, level. We always had a, a poem in our locker room, and as I congratulate our 10 winners tonight, uh, the one thing that I really will admonish all of you to do is to pick your friends carefully. Birds of a feather flock together. Good birds, good destination. Bad birds, bad destination. So all of our 10 winners, pick your friends carefully. And let me share the little poem that I, I've had posted in the locker room for 42 years to admonish our players about the company they keep. It was sometime in November in a town I can't remember. I was carrying home a pint of whiskey and drinking it with foolish pride. When my feet began to stutter and I fell down into a gutter and a pig came up and lay down by my side. And as I lay there in the gutter, thinking thoughts I dared not utter, a lady passing by was heard to say, You can tell a man who boozes by the company he chooses. And the pig got up and slowly walked away. Uh, and I hope all of you, I hope all of you got that one because I think it's very important. To our young men here tonight, to our 10 winners, and also congratulating Trevor Lawrence for winning our award. Trevor, you had a great year, uh, an outstanding year. We had one team in South Carolina, they didn't do too well. The team was so bad, the quarterback threw his helmet at the coach and that got intercepted. But Trevor, thank you for coming, up, coming to Clemson and helping coach uh, Sweeney win all of their awards. So we're congratulating Trevor Lawrence. To our winners and to Trevor and also to the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame, I'm ending because all of you are bridge builders. You're winning that award tonight. So here's my tribute to you coming from the old coach. I watched them tearing a building down, a group of men in a busy town. With a whole heave ho and a lusty yell, they swung a beam and a side wall fell. I asked the foreman, are these men skilled? Are they the type of men I would hire if I had to build? The foreman laughed and said, no indeed. Common labor is all I need. I can easily wreck in a day or two 
what it has taken builders years to do. So all of our 10 winners in the Bridge Builders Excellence Award tonight, I'm sure you said to yourselves as you've gone on your way, which of these roles will you decide to play? Will you be a builder who will work with care, measuring life by rule and square? Or will you be a wrecker who will roam the town content with the labor of tearing down? I can answer that question. You all are builders. In fact, you are bridge builders. Thank you. You're listening to Inside Bliss with LaVon Kirkland. And you know, LaVon, usnews.com ranks South Carolina students 43rd in college and career readiness. And as such, many kids are getting left behind. Well, David, our Bridge Builder program is dedicated to educate, empower, and encourage our students for success in their college, career, and life endeavors. Man, we've interviewed 10 finalists for this year's Bridge Builder Excellence Award. Wow, I mean, what a great group of young men. I'm impressed. Check it out. You know, I look up to my father because my father has, like, built me over the years ever since I was a kid. And to have a strong father in your life is the best thing that you can have, a great backbone. My coaches and my parents, they've been the main people around me most of the time, making sure I, I, I get this done. I want to be an architect, but I'm probably going to end up end up majoring in engineering science or I'm going to just do like an engineering program. So I, I definitely have an aspiration of being an NFL player one day, but, <clears throat> you know, as a kid, I always loved, you know, I was definitely a math quiz. I definitely say that. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to major in fashion, fashion design, because I want to make my own clothes and shoes. I just want to, you know, be the best I can be and to just try to, you know, influence and uh, better the people around me. To realize that you put all the work in, all the time in, all the effort in, and to know it actually meant something, that means a big, that, that means something big to me. I kind of sat there and thought like, my grades are good. I was like, I can go places beyond football and that football is not going to be my whole life. Keep an open mind, be optimistic about things and don't ever try to run away from the problem, just try to fix it. Our coaches love to, they say that we're like the role model of the younger students. And when you go read, you really see that. They, they act like we're celebrities all the time we go in there. Hey, this is Clemson graduate and former Dallas Cowboys, Charlie Waters. Congratulations to all the Bridge Builder finalists. Hey, this is Robert Porsche. Congratulations to all the Bridge Builder finalists. Hi, I'm Willis Scott. University of South Carolina graduate, Kansas City Chiefs and New England Patriots. I'd like to congratulate all the finalists for the Bridge Builders Award. Congratulations to the first ever Bridge Builder Award recipients for the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame. You make South Carolina, your community, and your high schools proud. I'm very appreciative of all the things that you've accomplished on and off of the field and look forward to the great works that you do in the future. Everyone wants to be a part of something bigger. But not everyone will. Everyone has goals. But not everyone knows where to start. We are not everyone. Are not everyone. Are not everyone. Are not everyone. You got to give those young men, uh, you got to give them a hand. I, I, I had the, the privilege and the honor to interview these guys, and it was breathtaking. Me and David, and they impressed us so much, uh, not only on the football field, but also in the classroom. You're talking about guys who had 3.7s, guys who had 3.8s. 4.0s, and um, I'm not in that category, I'm going to tell you right now, but um, they were very impressive, and, you know, we just we really thank those guys for being a part of our, our program. Um, again, we want to welcome you back to the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame Bridge Builders Excellent Award. Um, 
you know, we, we really believe that this war is the Heisman of, uh, of South Carolina. We hope that someone who's 10 years old is looking at this and saying, one day I'm going to win that Bridge Builder um, Award. But without further ado, uh, uh, we're going to present the winner of our Bridge Builders Excellent Award. Drum roll, please. And the winner from Ellendale Fairfax High School, Javaris Yalman. Javaris, come on up. Um, I just want to say it's an honor being here. All glory to God above. You know, give him all the praise. Um, just want to thank my uncle who could be in attendance here, my uh, North Greenville coaches. Shout out to them. Uh, I want to give thanks to my mother, my grandmother who's at home, my younger siblings who could not be here. Um, they was my very uh, my largest support system. Um, my coaches, my Allendale Fairfax coaches, you know, training me all my, my two years I had them, you know, making me the best not only athlete, but the best student athlete I could be. And, you know, uh, I just want to thank South Carolina Football Hall of Fame, uh, Mr. Mike Foster, Mr. LeVon Kirkland, Mr. David Wyatt, you know, just for giving me this opportunity. You know, it's definitely a, a moment I definitely won't forget, you know, just giving them all the praise. You know, I also appreciate everyone that could be here. You know, it's definitely an honor uh, meeting you. And once again, just thank you. Well, um, Jarvis, man, you did a wonderful job this year. Your profile was very impressive. And uh, we also want to give a shout out to all the rest of the guys who were interviewed. Um, like I said, uh, if you look at those interviews, you're going to be very impressed in what those guys had to say and what those guys stand for. And we can see South Carolina being that going forward. The South Carolina Football Hall of Fame is about educating, empowering, and encouraging our young men to be the very best. Thank you. You know, today's world is about the experience and the relationships that you create. We want to be your family jeweler. We want to know your special occasions. I mean, we want to be a part of that. Well, think about what love is. I mean, it is, uh, it is all things tingly, all the feelings that are part of love. And to be part of experiencing the opportunity for somebody to celebrate that. When somebody leaves this place with a smile on their face, that's my goal. That's what I want to see. Worlds apart, minutes away. Where dinner begins with your family gathering. Where connecting with nature leads to connecting with each other. Where hundreds of acres of meadows and forests nurture your mind your body and your spirit. Riverstead, discover resilient living. Everyone wants to be a part of something bigger. But not everyone will. Everyone has goals. But not everyone knows where to start. We are not everyone. Are not everyone. Are not everyone. Are not everyone. Well, welcome back. You just saw the winner of the Bridge Builder Award, the inaugural Bridge Builder Award, Javarius Humans. We are so excited to watch him play at that next level. Great man. Now it is time to present the Blanchard Rogers Collegiate Trophy of the Year. And you can't present that without the man himself, one of the men that the trophy's named after, Heisman winner, George Rogers. All right, man. <laughs> What's I up? What, it's, it's always a treat when we get to have you in the house. Well, you know, I, I, uh, uh, Trevor is going to win this award. And I tell you what. I think he's going to win the Heisman. Yeah. If I mean, there's a season, hey, George, if there's a season. I'll tell you what, I'm going to vote for him. I voted for Deshaun. Uh -huh. I, thought, I thought he should have got it. He got, he got robbed. Yep. He got robbed. He should have. So this time, I, 
Oh, no, I didn't just vote. Keep for going, you. I'm sorry. Just keep going, George. Just keep going. But uh, but but listen, <laughs> this quarterback we got, y'all got now. I say we, South Carolina. We you I, don't I'm have him. He's playing South against Carolina. Him. Yeah, hey, oh. South Carolina. You, you, I, I, you wish you had him. Yes. I yeah. Have. Well, yeah. <laughs> that too. Absolutely. But, but you know what? We doing what we can do. But uh, yeah, hey, Trevor, I, I I love him. He's a, he's a, he's a great quarterback, and I think he's gonna win the trophy. I do. And then we'll have two Heisman trophies. How about that? How about that's that? What, that's what it, that's what it's about. about, about right there. Hey, now, if he does win the Heisman, he needs to get a haircut. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Okay, no. He's, doing, he's doing his thing. You know, it hey, don't matter. You know, it don't matter. What was, it, what, what was the guy named that cut all his hair off and lost all his energy? <laughs> yeah, y'all know, <laughs> yeah, know, know who I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah. he's, he's, he's a great quarterback, and, and it's an honor to have, to, to have me to come today. That back there ain't nothing to what he's going to get. But we appreciate you guys doing it for him. That, that, well, that's all right. Yeah. That's the trophy. Can I, can I just say one thing? Sure you can. Um, as good of a quarterback as he is, he's a better person. Oh well, mm-hmm. I mean he, that helps. He, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he he's an unbelievable individual, and he's doing uh, unbelievable things for the cause for unity. Mm-hmm. And I well, mean, he's that's out what, there. That's he's about. out there leading parades. He's out there just leading his teammates. He's just doing doing the right thing. He, he's doing everything right. And, and I wanted to say this, too. That little girl right there can go. <laughs> <laughs> we may have to make a special part to have her sing I'm about again. To have her, yeah. yeah, I'm about to have her come to my place yeah. and let her sing. Man, she's good. Sing. Yeah. Don't worry. We'll, 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 have, we'll have her stay after right. for, for you. But, you know, this is in good company that Trevor Lawrence is about to receive sure. this award. Some of the past winners you may or may not have heard of some of these people. Travis Etienne. Oh, yeah, well. Right? Mason <laughs> okay. Rudolph. Uh, Deshaun Watson, kind uh, Deshaun, of a big deal. That's what he I'm talking about, right? Deshaun. He kind of has a Deshaun good should have won the Heisman Trophy, too. Y'all don't forget that. Right. Yeah, and now, this award, I mean, you know, Trevor's a big deal. He was in some good company, too, uh, well, of who was up for it. You know, you had, like, Javon. Well, he got, he got, he got, he's got time, though. He's got a little bit more time, too. Now, he can win it this year, and it'll all be good. And it's win all it good. again. And yeah. win it again. Yeah. All, all right. I'm going to say is he's about to win the lottery because he's going to win the in the NFL right, right. Y'all who sports today <laughs> just said and he's I'll tell you what they're paying them now. It ain't, hey. They are getting paid now, for real. <laughs> yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet your 2019 Blanchard Rogers Collegiate Player of the Year, Trevor Lawrence. Congratulations. All right. All right. And while I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person, it is my honor to accept the Blanchard Rogers Trophy 2019. I first want to thank God as it's through His grace that this and all things are possible. I want to thank everyone in our program, to our coaches and support staff. Thanks for doing a great job of putting us in position to succeed. To my teammates, the success I have and our team has is a testament to your talent and hard work. From my receivers and O-line to the defense to the scout team, Every single one of you has a part in this recognition. I'm honored to share the field with last year's Blanchard Rogers Trophy winner, Travis Etienne, and I'm glad we could keep this honor in our backfield. I also want to thank my family, including my parents and my fiance, for their love and support throughout my life and my football career. Thank you to the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame, not just for this honor, but for what you all do for the game of football in this state. And congrats as well to the other award winners being honored by the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame tonight, including the Bridge Builder Excellence Award finalists. 
I'm proud to have my name attached to an award from an organization that is committed to bringing people together and making a difference through this game we all love. Though it didn't end the way we wanted last year, it was an unbelievable season filled with great memories. I was, I was proud to represent Clemson and the state of South Carolina last year and hope, God willing, to have the opportunity to do so again here in 2020. Thank you and God bless. Go Tigers. Your 2019 Blanchard Rogers Collegiate Player of the Year. My man's had a big week. He gets this award, announces his engagement to Marissa. Good things coming for Trevor. Yeah. Yep. And here's the one thing I will say is that, you know, and I, I'm just going to reiterate the fact that every single player on that team, they respect him. Mm -hmm. And the reason they respect him is because he's just doing the right thing. And mm -hmm. he's just, he's, uh, he's, he's a special player. And I, I will also want to say um, one of the guys that is part of this recipient, how about George Rogers being here? Right? I mean, how about him being here right now? Yeah, that just shows. That shows. South Carolina is and, where it's at. And, and listen, I, I, I know I, I rib him all the time, but <laughs> – um, he has never been anything but just absolutely precious to me. Mm -hmm. And he's one of my dearest friends, and I love that man so much. And so I just think it's amazing that, you know, he's, he's here tonight. Well, to everyone that he meets, so how many hot days have we spent at williams Rice? You standing there, smart pre-COVID times, you could, like, hug up on people, you know, hugging up on people, letting them hold the, his trophy, wearing the ring. He's just a, a great guy. It's what we represent, what we like to see. I, and I, I just think it's, it's awesome that he's a part of this program. So, mm -hmm. from, um, from day so. one. We've had some great – inductees, some great members of the Hall of Fame. We're very lucky to do that, you know, and we're kind of celebrating it all year long. And I was teasing David White. I was like, of course, the year that we're inducting Steve Spurrier into it, you know, it's going to have to like long, be longer than anybody else's because normally we would have talked about this in April and then it would have gone on. Now we're going to drag this thing out till next year when we get to induct this class into the Hall of Fame. So I was like, of course, well, Spurrier well, wants a little bit extra time. And, <laughs> and I, I'm just going to tell you all a quick story. So I, I was at a hotel in Columbia, and Coach Spurrier and his wife were sitting there having breakfast, and I happened to be down there on a speaking engagement, and uh, I walked up to him. Oh, no. And I, and oh, I, no. Said, I said, Coach, I said, my name's Will Merritt. And um, he's like, all right. He had no idea who I was. Right. <laughs> and I said, uh, I just want to let you know that uh, I played football at Clemson. I played against you at He's like, did y'all win? <laughs> that's the first that's thing. The first thing. That's what, the first what else thing. do you need to know? What else matters, right? <laughs> y'all win? Y'all yeah, win. <laughs> and you know, in that little high-pitched uh -huh. voice of his. Yep. And I'm like, we did. We, we, we did win. He goes, <laughs> well, I don't like you a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's, he's being true. He's being true. I mean, but we were the – I mean, it, he and his wife and me – we're the only Sweet people in the entire, I mean, in the entire restaurant. And he just cracked me up. And I'm yeah. just like, man. He's, he's that's definitely a, that's a, good for some that's jokes. That's a funny dude. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So if you aren't familiar with the class that we're inducting into the Hall of Fame, make sure you're looking on their website yeah. after this event, South Carolina Football Hall of Fame.org, where you are right now. we got some great members, and we want to let you know that it's more than just football, kind of the mission of the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame. Let's take a look and see what it's all about. Hi there, college football fans. I'm Steve Spurrier. I'm Charlie Waters. I'm Robert Porsche. I'm Willie Scott and a member of the 2020 class of the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame. And a lot of people think this is about us. But it's really about me and my future. But it's really about me and my future. Me and my future. Me and my future. Me and my future. But it's really about me and my future. My future. And my future. Me and my future. My future. That's what it's all about. Great things. Make sure you're staying tuned so you can follow, so you can be a part of the induction ceremony. I'm going to turn things back over to LaVon Kirkland. LaVon. Thank you so much. Is this a Gamecock? Somebody left their hat here? That's George. George, that's your hat. No, no. This, 
No, no, no. Hey, I'm, I'm going to tell you, growing up, and I, I hate to age you because um, Will age me. So when I'm going to say, George, I remember watching you on, on film, and I, I just thought you were the greatest, man. Always uh, admired you and what you – and I think how you kind of put South Carolina really on the map as far as football is concerned. Winning that Heisman Trophy is something that we all take pride in. So – Thank you so much. I, I'm a I'm a social distance from this hat a little bit. Put it right here. No, I, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, welcome back. And uh, it's it's been a great evening for us. Um, we like to thank everybody involved. Um, we really got to give uh, my chairman David Wyatt a big hand because this is really his vision. And man, I'm. I'm uh, going tell you something, though, now. We were in COVID, and Annie and Mike can contest. Boy, we got after it <laughs> during the COVID. I mean, getting our message um, clear, um, understanding what we were doing and our purpose, and um, it's, been a, it's been a great run. And also, is Mike, I don't know if Mike is around or anything like that. Mike Foster, man, I'm telling you, he's one of the best guys in the world. Mike, Mike does a tremendous job of really keeping us all in order, and the inside blitz with uh, with me would not be possible without Mike and me kind of grinding over it, what we can do. But Mike came up with the name. Um, this uh, this ceremony, Mike pretty much came up with it with our blessings from David and what he's done. So we'd like to thank all of you guys for being here tonight. It really means uh a whole lot to us, and we hope that you can continue to be with us. The South Carolina Football Hall of Fame is more than football. It's making a difference through football. We are going to educate, empower, and encourage our young men. And we want to, right now, make sure that we give you a call to action and join the movement. Join the movement for our future, for our people. And if you want to do that, if you want to be a bridge builder, what well, we talk about our young men, if you want to be a bridge builder, make sure you go to www.scfootballhof.org. Thank you so much for this wonderful night. We really appreciate you, and we really love you. Thank you. This is Coach Willie Jeffries, born, bred, and butter in Union, South Carolina, saying good night to our South Carolinians and our bridge builders. What a wonderful night. Thank you all and good night. <laughs> really do want to thank everybody that was here. I want to thank Megan and Will and, and George uh, very much. And of course, all of the team. Ansley, thank you for being here. Wonderful job. Uh, I want to thank Prominence Media and Jeter and Brian Tangersley and of course, uh, Jeff Renau, who owns uh, this beautiful, elegant uh, meeting space that we're in here called Zen, and, uh, and just really appreciate that, uh, you know, we all are coming together for the same thing, and that's to make a difference. And uh, God bless you all. Get home safely, and good night. Everyone wants to be a part of something bigger. But not everyone will. Everyone has goals. But not everyone knows where to start. We are not everyone. Are not everyone. Are not everyone. Are not everyone. Worlds apart, minutes away, where dinner begins with your family gathering, where connecting with nature leads to connecting with each other, where hundreds of acres of meadows and forests nurture your mind, your body, and your spirit. Riverstead, discover resilient living. You know, today's world is about the experience and the relationships that you create. We want to be your family jeweler. We want to know your special occasions. I mean, we want to be a part of that. Well, think about what love is. I mean, it is, uh, it is all things tingly, all the feelings that are part of love. 
and to be part of experiencing the opportunity for somebody to celebrate that. When somebody leaves this place with a smile on their face, that's my goal. That's what I want to see.